The round got underway last night. As we mentioned, Don was over in Perth to see North beat the West Coast Eagles by six points. Other matches being played today. Carlton plays Adelaide at Princes Park. Hawthorne and the Saints co-tenants at Waverley Park. Footscray plays Sydney at the Western Oval. We'll be keeping you up to date with scores from these matches throughout the day. And the highlights of the Carlton Adelaide match at half time and also at the end of today's match. This is going to be a big game. Selections on firstly. Essendon. Robbo. You know Essendon very well. You've yes, seen them I've, just about every uh, week. I've seen a little bit of them, and uh, it's interesting there. Dustin Fletcher picking up uh, Alan Jakovic. Uh, it was about five weeks ago that he was given the big job to, find, to mine Tony Modra. And if I could forget about Melbourne's performance against Carlton when they were beaten by a big margin, I'd be prepared to tip Mel. I think Essendon will win by a couple of goals, Sandy. Right, so just about set to go. An important game for both sides. Michael Abbott and Chris Mitchell are the men in charge of proceedings here at the MCG today. Jimmy Steins and Melbourne going to the right of screen. Almost gave away a free kick. Viney through, but without the football. Opportunity for Carl. Still going. Pushing the ball along in front. He's slung as he gets his kick. Through Steins it go. Long, couldn't take it cleanly. Ball still in the middle. Wanganeen flicks it out to O'Donnell. The bombers down their 50 metre line. Kick it, couldn't take it cleanly. Trying to burst through as McCurry gets caught. And the umpire will come in and have a bounce just inside the 50 metre line for the bombers. Interesting to see that kick is starting on the forward line. Started on the back flank against Hawthorne last week. Did better after half time when he went onto the forward line. Sean White picking up Salmon in the forward pocket. Steins could have almost got a shove. O'Donnell. Gets a kick down towards Salmon, who's got the height. Yes, White all at sea on that occasion. He was just not in the right position. Look, he's just out of position altogether. And an easy elementary mark to Salmon. Been the leading goal kicker at the club for six seasons. Looking to get Essen in the way to a positive start. Twenty-five metres out, almost directly in front. Salmon shoots and Salmon goes. Good start for the Bombers. Yes, a good start. He's done that so often, Salmon. Early in the game, he's kicked the goals, but then hasn't gone on with it as the game's progressed. It'll be an interesting battle between he and White. As I mentioned in the preview, White's got great athleticism, but he just couldn't use it on that occasion because he was caught out of position. So the first score going to the Bombers is Jimmy Steins. What a fantastic job he's done for Melbourne. Played over 120 consecutive games. Crashes to the ground. Obst has the football. Still Steins in trouble. A little bit off the football. And actually, you mentioned they're crashing to the ground. That centre is rock hard. And Sandy mentioned about watering the ground. Really, the curators have got to look at themselves because these grounds have got cricket pitches in the centre. They're not consistent with the rest of the ground. There's a real difference in the hardness of the turf. Grenville gets it to Denham. Mercedes looking for long, but he's outbustled by Matthew Phoebe. And Matthew Phoebe in the finish will take the free kick. Short pass is OK. The mark is taken by Stretch. A good kick of the football. Stephen Stretch out in front. And an excellent mark taken by Jakovic, 50 metres from goal. Well, we saw uh, players in the reserves kicking goals from uh, about 50 metres out at both ends. So Jakovic would have to be a chance here. In the reserves, Melbourne won quite convincingly. They kicked 26-15 to Essendon 11-10. Here's Jakovic for his first goal. He gets under his kick and it holds up. Lands at the front of the square, taken by Grenvold. Away to Mercedi. Mercedi's kick back near the centre of the ground. A good mark taken by Mercury. Mercury wants to get on with the job quickly. Goes up towards the half forward line, Buick. Like he's just forward of uh, centre wing. Now in towards half forward. Salmon's at the back. Big man recovers. Heard. Look at him going in. Get that football. Sean White, who's come back into this Melbourne lineup, is in there as well. He was outstanding last week. That man there on screen, James Hurd, against Hawthorne. 
BOG for mine. 30 metres out from the bomber scoring zone. Somerville down looking towards O'Donnell. Denham there applying the tackle. Another bounce to take place. Just saw Andrew Ops there, head ruffle. Former congratulations from his teammates. It looks like he's got the job on O'Donnell. Usually, O'Donnell is the man who's got the job on one of the opposition players. Been in uh, good form, Ops. So too is this man. Love it. Kicks a little too wide, and it bounced just inside the line. Clever. Clever by Glenn Lover. He had no one to kick it to, and it was a good effort then. Somerville and Steins trying to get it out was McCurry. Bombers still in with a chance. It's inside their 50 metre line. Oh. Buick at the back. May get a chance, Buick. Long. Overruns it. Sean White at the back. Paddles it out to Lover. The last line of defence. They're able to tidy it up. Swing it out towards half back. Wanganeen gets a bad bounce. And Stephen Stretch will see it over the line in front of Gavin Wanganeen for a throw in on Essendon's left half forward flank. Interesting looking at the Melbourne forward line. They've got Peter Rowe, Graham Yates, and Rod Grinter all made names for themselves at Melbourne a couple of years ago as defenders. Now they're forwards. Interesting also, uh, Don, that uh, Wanganeen is being played up the ground today. Well, he started in the back line last week. And he's got the job on Stretch. Well, Stretch has got the job on him, one or the other. Well, some of them will get the free kick here out of the boundary throw-in. Michael Long could have done a little bit better handing the ball back to him. And still, <laughs> Peter Somerville can't get hold of that elusive Sharon. Now he gives the hand pass away. Masidi, possession number four already. Pretty ordinary kick. Buick nearly on the end of it. Still a chance. No. Hopgood. Little tap on. Still the ball to be taken. Mercury held, didn't have it. Now Masidi gives away a little bit of ground. You're in trouble, Somerville. Ball spills for Masidi again. Strong tap. Oh, look at Melbourne. They were just irrepressible there. And eventually Matthew Phoebe kicks it into the forward line. Bad kick. Anthony Danaher. No, Road. Road's kick across the face. Looking for Grinter, but Chris Danaher gets back quickly. Grinter and Danaher. Still Chris Danaher. Eventually the play goes on and Danaher will clear for Eston. A sneaky little hand pass over the top for Fletcher. Okay, Fletcher, Chris Danaher in trouble. Look out was the words of wisdom. Jakovic. Chris Danaher, tackled by Tingay. Tackling fantastic by both sides. No one can get the ball clear. No effective possession just yet. Now Harvey will kick the ball wide towards the wing. The bouncing ball awkward there for Stretch. And he can't control it. Boundary throw in. Could say as Essendon bought that ball out of the, uh, their back line, they used the handball a little bit too much, but you can also compliment Melbourne because they certainly did persist in the chasing Jakovic, the example. Just the one goal today, kicked by Paul Salmon. Tim Watson has a free kick. He's just forward of centre wing. Kick it. He's at the back. Steins are waiting down in front. Big man gets it away to Viney. To the half back line, it's effective to Tingo. Close to the boundary line. Bomber still with a chance. Stein's in trouble. Did get it away. Tackling, as Robbo said, by both teams is outstanding early on. At the bottom is David Grenbold. Young man who rose to prominence through the Glenelg Football Club. Steins to do the ruck work again. Does a bit of shepherding initially. Gets it down towards Lovett. A hurried kick is high. Well done. Phoebe comes over the top. Waiting down, however, is Wanganeen. Long and low. In towards half forward he goes. McCurry palms it on. Down towards Buick goes Salmon. Shepherding one behind only. Mm, could have been interference also by Hopgood on Buick. 1-1. One, one. The Bombers, Demons yet to score. And what should be a pretty tight encounter. Oh! What a grab! What a beauty! David Neitz goes to centre wing. Lyon was interfered with. He'll be free kick. Dry smile from Danaher. Here's Neitz again. And it was exactly that. Lyon to half four. Jagovic!
Brenda says go for home. Well, if he fires up, anything could happen here at the G this afternoon. Most exciting player to watch. Plenty of ingredients in this game. He can get slightly underneath it, but he's got the distance this time. So the Jacko show is underway. Well, his first similar kicking action to his earlier goal, where he really did get under it. Distance could have been a problem there. He really did kick through that ball. 50 metres, his first. Alan Djakovic. A point the difference. After Djakovic gets his first, Lovett sends Melbourne into attack again. Down towards Djakovic. Had the fly, couldn't complete the mark. At the back is Yates. Clever. Hot pursuit, Thompson. Clever kick. And Lyon will have a shot 20 metres out. Fantastic kick. That was a terrific kick by Graham Yates. There he is on screen. And Todd Viney acknowledging it. Watch this. This is just terrific play. Well done, Graham Yates. Didn't look for goal. He just wanted to open up the face of the goal. And Lyon running into space. Gary Lyon for his first. And a couple of quick goals to Melbourne. See them hit the front here at the MCG. Well, Essendon started with three quick goals last week against uh, Hawthorne. Hawthorne got back into the game, looked as if they could go on with it, but Essendon, to their credit, really did fire back. But it's Melbourne who is taking it up to, Hoare, to Essendon today. Good kick, actually, there by Lovett, clearing the pack. Lovett got it out of the centre. And well done, as I said earlier. So the Demons have taken the lead. They've kicked two straight. Essendon 1-1. One, one. Somerville up high. Ball taken by Obst. And Obst kicks it towards half forward, but it's chopped off by Harvey. Harvey's high kick wide to the right half forward. And a good mark taken by James Hurd. Very neat player, James Hurd. Pass. Oh. Awkward. Oh, it's a mark. Well, Mercury must have uh, licked his chops there because it was very fortunate landing in his hands. Bad performance by a young 19-year-old to play uh, 14 games already. I think he's probably played most games this year. I'd say Don, wouldn't he, Mark Mercury? He has, and he's well up there in the kicks too. Shot for goal. Looks pretty good. It's a goal. So Mercury kicks his first goal. And Essendon back in front by just one point. Fortunate kick found McCurry, but then again, I suppose McCurry can be complimented because he was in front of his opponent. When you're in front, the ball drops well, you're going to take the advantage. Cowell's got the job on McCurry. Cowell from Claremont in Western Australia. So, a very even first 10 minutes here at the MCG and an important clash between Essendon and Melbourne. Steins jumps early. And then when he hit the ground, he got the tap out. Road misses it. Matthew Phoebe, tap on by Tingay, into the path of stretch. Bounces a little awkward for him. Lyon, well tackled. Ball spills free for Grenvold. David Grenvold, round his body. All through the arms of Ops it goes. Could open the door for McCurry off to O'Donnell. The bomb is through Somerville now, drifted into the centre. And oh, they've got the runners. The long kick by Mercedes goes up to half forward. Who's first to recover? Salmon slow to get up. Pressure now on the Demon defence oh, as Hopkins yes. gets towards the boundary line. He's going to get a free kick. A little bit of pressure after the ball had gone too by Buick. Watch this. There's the hand. And just a little bit more. So Hopkins to take it from the back pocket. Towards centre wing. Steins is his target. He's in a big pack. Stretch got the hand pass out. Wanganeen's hand pass goes straight to Lovett. Off to line. Melbourne looked dangerous again down towards.
first half forward. Well done, but Fletcher. A good mark, as Don said, taken by Fletcher. What a job he's got today. Off to Harvey. He trips and has time to recover. Sees O'Donnell on his own out on centre wing. He's only going to be on his own for a well moment. Well done. Phoebe, look at that tackle. Played by Phoebe. Off to Yates. Melbourne looking good. Road across half forward. Back towards Lovett, who's followed it down. Jakovic intercepts. He's inside 50. Tries to get the hand pass away. Could have held on to it a fraction too long. Phoebe also under pressure. And good tackling on Graham Yates. Well oh. done by Phoebe on its centre wing. Disposing O'Donnell of the ball. Been a big start to this game. Road, Harvey, the line, all there. Viney at the back. Yes! Todd Viney is one of the better readers of the ball off the hands of the pack in the Melbourne side. He just hasn't got the speed over the ground of a rover, but there he is. He does know where the ball's going. That was a nice kick for goal. A nice passage of play by Viney. He's got a lot of courage. And a gun footballer. So good performance there by the Demons. Essendon kicked the first goal of the game, but now Melbourne lead by five points. Glenn Lovett getting a lot of the footy again this week. He's proving to be a very valuable player for Melbourne. Fletcher harassed by Grita. And now a free kick has been picked out, and it's going to the Melbourne player, Rod Grita. Jakovic had the footy. The ball going back to Grita. Short pass into the pocket. Looking for Lyon. Already proving problems. Well, that hole was there for a long time. Lyon let him do it with confidence. Gary Lyon, a very, very good player. Could this be second goal? Remember him as a skinny 16-year-old from Kyabram. Long kick, but uh, way off line. Just scraping in for one behind. 3-1 plays 2-1. Gary Lyon, a couple of years ago, broke his leg out of Footscray, if I remember correctly. And, uh, He's had a wretched run with injury, actually. And it's great to see him back playing a succession of games. Oh, oh terrible kick by Fletcher. And how good was that? The fortune was for the pass. Bombers. Unbelievable. A good pass. A good pass. If you kick passes off the side of your boot all day, oh, look at that one. Oh. Another shocker by Denham. Thompson's going to recover, however. Off to Harvey. He's still at half-back. Danger here. Line in light over the top. Was able to get it away. Gilbert tried to storm through but couldn't. Thompson again. This time finding O'Donnell. Over centre wing, kick it's his target. There was holding on, both foot of line. Steins at the back. Big Jim wants help. His hand pass to Phoebe has put him under pressure. Oh, he's done it beautifully. The Phoebe boys combine. Up to the half forward line and out comes Yates. Melbourne controlling the game now. Looking good at the moment. Graham Yates. Kicking in towards half forward. Fletcher front spot. Just his head a fraction, trying to take the mark. Lyon, can he get free? He's off target. Way to the right. One behind. So an exciting, positive start. Fletcher. Lovely kick out this time. Almost down towards the centre. And the free kick cover has been given away by Somerville. It's going to be taken by Steins. He gives it away to Tingay. Stephen Tingay charges into the forward line once again. Wanganin has to come over the top and spoil. Fletcher waiting down in front. Heads for the boundary line. And a little bit of safety. It's not going to reach it. First it'll be Joe Masidi. Caught by Lovett. Masidi gets back up support from Denham, but he too is under pressure. The tackling superb. Viney gets it out to Lovett. In towards full forward. Watson couldn't complete the mark. Very good recovery, though, by Tim Watson. Penetrating hand pass. Finds Wanganin at half back. He goes over the centre towards Kickett once again. Fisted high. Who's going to recover first? It's Phoebe. Gets the hand pass away. Melbourne looking the goods as Obbs sets it up in the centre. Here they go again. Phoebe another one further forward and the stab pass by Gilbert goes straight to Bomber Thompson. Thompson steadies his side down. Anthony Danaher coming off. Watson's gone down to fill his uh, spot. 
And Simon's coming on for Essendon. Matthew Phoebe again. What a start he's had. He finds Viney almost in the centre. Now Todd Viney's kicked to the right half forward region. The mark taken by Yates. Melbourne growing with confidence after kicking three goals, two to Essendon's 2-1 in the opening half of the first quarter. Yates's kick high towards the pocket. Yes. Oh, Lyon beats Watson pointless. And he's the problem. He's had Danaher moved off him already. Now Tim Watson's got the big job. And it's going to be a big job for Tim because Lyon does move around a lot. Gary Lyon in the right forward pocket, about uh, 40 metres from goal. He's kicked one. Oh, what a good kick, but it just floats away with the breeze. And it's through for his third behind. One goal, three to Gary Lyon. One goal each to Viney and Djakovic. And for Essendon, goals from Mercury and Salmon. The uh, Melbourne interchange players. Warming up on the boundary line, the oh. kick in. Thompson bashes it back. Stretch the first to recover. Has a good look. Kicks towards Yates, but oh. Wanganeen. It was like a cat. The rubber man. Long kick towards the wing. No mark taken. Ball at the back. Attempted kick off the ground by Mercury. Simons just harasses Matthew Phoebe and eventually forces a bounce quite near the wing on this member's side of the ground. Eight points the margin, favouring Melbourne. Grenvold gets past Viney, kick it, intercepts. Wanted McCurry, but he's going to go back it to himself. O'Donnell. Towards Hurd. Over the top it goes. Simons hassles Gilbert. But the latter gets the hand pass away. And it eventually goes over the top and over the boundary line for a throw in coming from Hopgood. Three three plays two one. Steins, Summerville, Hurd, almost taken high. In fact, was said the umpire. So James Hurd, young man from Ainsley. Chance to bring the Bombers a little closer. He's going to be kicking from at least 55 metres. It may test him. Nice looking kick. Uh, in going for the distance, he's just pulled it slightly to the left. So seven points to the mark. Melbourne coming off a stunning win over Collingwood. Obst has been in good form, has the football on the outer side on half back. To centre wing, towards Neitz. Road is also there. They fight for it, Melbourne. Tingo, but he's wide. Not unlike the English bowling attack. Out of bounds on the full. Wide and very, very ordinary. <laughs> David Grenvold in the picture. There's Mark Harvey. He's been an integral part of the Essendon defence so far this year. High kick. Hurd can't take the mark. Ball spills free. No, it doesn't. It's quickly held in. And underneath all that is Grenvold and David Dietz, promising young player for Melbourne. I know the Demons are looking for players like Neitz to carry them further over the next few seasons. Steins. Glenn Lovett, no, Mercedes. the ball's built nicely for him. He's kicking to the full forward region. Here comes Simons, can't get a foot to it. Hopgood could, and he forced a rush behind to Essendon. Bit of a desperado, Paul Hopgood, making it difficult for the Essendon forwards. Now, this is Gilbert to kick in for Melbourne. Gets good distance with the kick, well outside 50 metres. Steins can't take the mark, but Todd Viney, now Tingay caught by Long, but the ball spilt for Viney. Viney short kick, OK. The mark taken by Rowe. Peter Rowe. What a surprise it was for him last week to line up in the forward line and kick goals. Djakovic can't take the mark. Ball spills for O'Donnell. Fletcher does well. Just to hold up Gary Lyon. 
and in the background a free kick given away it's taken by O'Donnell Gary O'Donnell kicks out into the path of Mercury uh, who took a good mark in the finish in front of Cal so Mercury to kick Esmond into attack up towards the 50 metre line he goes and over wide at the back Buick he'll have to suck off the ground he does but he's wide Explosive speed. 2 4, plays 3 3. You wouldn't reckon the Melbourne guy chasing him lacked pace either, would you? Five points the margin. Gilbert was there, kick it. No, he threw it. They're usually allowed over in Adelaide. Ooh! <laughs> what well, is the closest it. thing to a crow a throw? Crow throw. Well, they'll be on to you next time you're over there, Robbo. However, it's gone against kick it on this occasion. For a throw. This time a free kick going the way of Steins. We've got one. Sean Centre win. Big Jim. This year was 1991. What a year it was. That wasn't his best kick. Chris Danaher. Goes in towards the centre. Heard the target, but just floating across in front was Obst. Did it nicely. To half forward. And again, well, he's playing with Danaher at the moment. Harvey. Nice little sidestep, finds some of it. Beautiful placement. Off to uh, oh. Bomber Thompson. Well, he may get out of it, Bomber. O'Donnell has to help him. Some desperate play by Ops. He's held, and O'Donnell will take the free kick. Gee, they were lucky, weren't they, John? Desperate play by Ops, remonstrating with the umpire. Melbourne are desperate, aren't they? It's a half forward. Some of them. Fine yeah, to sit the big fellow. He'll kick this. He is a big kick of the football. Here's the mark over Cal. Cal, half his size. They all count. Some of all to regain the lead for Essendon. As Don said, he'd kick it. He did, but it's a very poor kick. Well, he tried the talk, didn't get onto it. Sean White has Lyon on the outer side on his own. And he's had a great first quarter. Off he goes to Cal. To the half-forward line. Yates couldn't take it. But look at the recovery of Graham Yates. Oh. Grinter now. Into the pocket. Jakovic and Fletcher. And it's the latter who sees it over good the line. Good play by Yates. And pity Grinter wasn't equal to the task because that wasn't a good kick from Grinter to Jakovic. Grinter playing forward pocket. Yates half-forward flank. There's been a few kicks go astray down that right hand end. I wonder whether the, uh, there is a little bit of breeze blowing, swirling around. Maybe a, a slight excuse for the errant kicks into the forward line. Oh. Thompson held too high there by Stretch. And he'll take the free kick. Kicks it across the face. Mark taken by Harvey. Harvey's uh, got Watson at centre half back, but I feel he's looking to kick long out to this near side. Member side, good kick by Harvey too, and an excellent mark, well judged by Mercury over Cowell. Short kick, looking for Long, but chipping in there was Matthew Phoebe. Doing well, isn't he, Matthew? And if anyone can tell the difference, when you look at those two guys front on, Matthew and Stephen Phoebe, it could only be their mother. <laughs> Identical twins. Thank goodness they wear different numbers on their back, Sandy. <laughs> now, chance there for Neitz, but he was well tackled. Ball spills for Simons. Underneath it, still there. Oh, crash with Cal on Denham. Now Mercury. James Hurd. Slippery little hand pass for Long. Long's kick into the pocket. White interferes with Salmon. Ball goes over the back. Salmon. Oh, Stephen Phoebe made it difficult for the big fellow and knocks the ball over for a throw in. A great sporting family, the Phoebes. And the sister plays National League basketball with. Melbourne Tigers. Somerville over the top. O'Donnell. Knocked away by Hopgood. 
And he's doing a pretty good job back there, Paul Hopgood for Melbourne. And so are the Demons in general. They lead 3-3 to 2-4. Only five points in it, but uh, Salmon doing the ruck work. Oh, Grenville nearly got through. Would that have been a push in the back to uh, Phoebe? A rush behind Stephen, in the finish. Stephen Phoebe standing in the road of David Grenville as the siren goes for quarter time. Grenville and White. Interesting. Or was it White? Short yeah. White, it was uh, Don. Now, Phoebe, Stephen. Will kick it in to the far side. Again, well outside the 50 metre area. Heard can't mark Tingay. And the siren sounds. It's quarter time in this game between Melbourne and Essendon. Melbourne lead by four points there. 3 3, Essendon 2 5. The name of the game is a... Just about set for a start. The second quarter. Sandy, you and I both noticed Neil Baum talking to the players, and uh, he looked. Uh, quite at ease with himself he did and uh, just the chemistry between him and the players will go as well for the melbourne football club second quarter getting underway melbourne leading by four points in overcast conditions steins gets up high then palms it down with the left hand line had a big first quarter watson caught the ball spills free off the boot it goes phoebe will be first to the football this is stephen bradley plain just onto the ground Spending the first quarter on the interchange bench. Matthew Phoebe. Back to Stephen Phoebe. It's times like these we need Mrs. Phoebe. Stretch. To half forward. Oh, he lost it. Had it and then lost it, Graham Yates. And the door opens now for Harvey. Oh, only for a moment. Going to be stolen by Ops. Up towards the 50 metre line. Here's trouble as Phoebe sets sail for goal. The left foot kick is just off target. Matthew Phoebe through the behind. Ask me how I knew who it was. One's got dark hair. No, one's a left footer and one's a right footer. That's the only thing you've got in your favour there, Sandy. Jiminy. Uh, the mark taken by Joe Mercedes. He's tucked in the back pocket, Mercedes. Well, Steins is at the back of the pack. Some of in front. So too O'Donnell. Goes for a big roundhouse. Gary O'Donnell and sees it over the line on the outer side of the ground. Cow's got the job on Buick. Steins and Somerville. Somerville gets the tap out. Long. Now Wanganeen. Wanganeen from uh, half back, closer to the wing, kicks towards centre half forward. Simons, nearly oh. beat before it by Gilbert, gets the handball out the back. Bradley Plain and Cow. Now Buick. Away for Plain. He should kick a goal, Bradley. It's close to goal. So that move of bringing Bradley Plain onto the ground has straight away paid off for the Bombers. He kicks their third goal. Well, Buick's now playing or positioning himself at centre half forward. They've got a small half forward line, Essendon. Plain's involved as well on that half forward line. You've got Buick, Simons, and also uh, McCurry. So it is a small half-forward line, and four of them, more or less, playing at the centre half-forward position. you got two in the goal square, Salmon and Hurd. Mercedes tries to get it clear, so does Ops, but it spills for Todd Viney. And Viney's kick across his left shoulder. Good distance out towards the 50-metre line, but a top mark, a really top mark taken by the Essendon captain, Bomber Thompson. Nearly gave the hand pass away, then kicked it in short into the centre, and the mark was taken by Grenville. Essendon leading by a point. Salmon at the target. Unable to complete the mark. Mercury a chance. Obst. Through strongly. And he had a way to Carl. Loses it. Buick. Left footer. In towards full forward. Heard was there, but the mark taken on the last line of defence by David Neitz. Did it well, didn't he, Neitz? Goes to the outer side. Simons the flyer. Didn't give away a free kick. Somerville. Left foot high kick in towards full forward. White was one of the flyers. Heard another. Carl sneaks away for the Demons. Down towards Steins on half back. 
the big man takes it over the line. Approaching a milestone of 150 if he can keep himself fit. And consecutive 150 games too, Sandy. He's had a magnificent run, hasn't he? Heard. Couldn't take it on the half volley. Carl takes the hand pass. Stabs it, but doesn't stab it far enough. And Mark McCurry, who kicked the goal in the first quarter, can pump Essendon deep into attack. Salmon, was he edged out? No, the umpire shakes his head. You can't do that to me. I'm a wake up. Viney on half back. Centering kick. Line in front of Watson. Matthew Phoebe. O'Donnell paused just for a moment and gives a little ground to Harvey, who decides he'll head for the boundary. Lovely little hesitation there, Sandy. <laughs> I think you thought the ball was going to sit up on its head, Ben. Stay inside the boundary liner. Just for a moment. Just for a fleeting moment. Road runs into Harvey. O'Donnell at the bottom of the pack. And Steve Tingay leaves just a fraction late. Another bounce. So, oh, bounce well done. nearly taken by Lyon, but gathered by Obst. And from 50 metres, Obst misses to the left-hand side. Well done by Gary Lyon. He contested the bounce down. Over the shoulder, or over the head, to lie, uh, to Obst, and the change has been made at, on the Melbourne bench. That's Robbins coming on. Fletcher goes to the far side, looking out there for Simons. Couldn't quite take the mark. Thompson harassed, but he may have given a free kick away stretch. No. Ball over for a throw in. Thompson maybe a little fortunate, and then in the finish, a bit unfortunate. So the boundary throw in between Steins and Somerville again. They're having a great battle. And I feel Somerville not doing a bad job. He's restricting Steins' possessions, which has been one of his really strong points. Somerville's kick taken by Glenn Lovett, away for Gary Lyon. Lyon's kick in towards full forward. Fletcher holds his ground. Handball away for Harvey. Essendon get clear from centre-half back. Harvey's kick across his body, gets good distance. Nearly the mark taken by Hopgood. He plays on quickly. Short kick. Oh, it was as though he nearly looked there and passed it straight to Somerville. Handball to Thompson. Thompson finds Watson. Long running. Long kicking. Hurd couldn't take the mark. Neats into his back. No free kick. Plain cow. Too hard for White. Now Robbins is there to mop it up. And Robbins gets clear from centre-half back for the Demons. Kicks in towards the middle. Stretch. Couldn't take the one-hander. Harvey shrugs the tackle. He wanted Wanganeen, but it doesn't matter. He's got good support. Up towards Plain. Bradley Plain has kicked one. He's 30 metres out. Tight angle. And he sneaks it across the face for Bahar. One goal, one to Bradley Plain. And Robbins has got Plain too. Robbins coming off into change. He's gone straight on to Bradley Plain. 3-6 plays, 3-5. Kick it and Danaher on the bench. What is developing into a mighty contest. Just to point the difference. Steins at the back. Some of them. Can't take it cleanly. James Hurd somehow kept it into Grenville. He was pressured to put it out on the full. Cowell will bring it back into play. Darren Cowell gives the hand pass away to Stephen Phoebe. To centre wing. Somerville stood his ground but couldn't take the mark. Grenville, Steins, Grenville, O'Donnell. Caught by Tinge. Can he get a free kick? The change is going to be made by Essendon involving Hurd. In actual fact, Hurd's coming off the ground. Kick it on. So reputations don't mean much. Hurd did particularly well last week. Salmon couldn't take it. Melbourne are going to get out of trouble here again. The Phoebe brothers combine to go up towards centre wing, Wanganeen. As Robbo so aptly described him, the rubber band man. Well, this man's not far off it either. Long. Salmon. Couldn't take it. Buick, was he held? Goes to ground, gets it off to Plain. Plain's kick 1-1. One, one. Hand pass to Simons. 30 metres out, and he's kicked another one. Well, Michael Simons, his first goal. 
And behind play, Sean White is injured for Melbourne after contesting with Salmon. Salmon on the lead, White getting the ball away. We may see it here. Yes, we will. That is where White injured himself. He's in the hands of the trainers, but back with the action. And here's Simons from Bradley, Bradley Plain. So Plain being involved early in this second quarter. 4 6 to 3 5. Essendon lead. Glenn Lovett gets the ball away from the centre. Awkward bounce. Grinter gathers. Handball away for Gary Lyon. Lyons kick in towards full forward, looking for Jakovic. Punched away by Fletcher. Punched away by Fletcher. Ineffective. Yates over the top. Well done, Graham Yates. It's your goal. Jakovic kicked it. Second goal to Alan Jakovic. But great vision by Yates, and he gets the pat of acclamation from the big full forward who kicked the goal. Yes, he's been involved in a couple, Graham Yates. And Melbourne have made a change too. They've got Road now in the back pocket picking up kick it. Now Road started on the half forward flank. I think Neitz has gone up onto the half forward line. Yates gets it across to Djakovic. And the ruck contest. Spills free for Viney. Tackle by Mercury. Short for stretch. Still in the middle. Denham dispossessed. Todd Viney the tackler. Away goes Stretch. And eventually oh, should have kicked he, a see? Bit quicker. he obviously didn't see obviously Watson. Didn't spot him. And now, Watson's hurt himself too. Tim's hurt kick, himself. Been picked out of that. It's going to Grenvold as Watson oh. grimaces. Oh, he's in a bit of pain, Tim. Grenvold's kick looking wide for Somerville. Somerville plays on. Good kick in towards full forward. Looking for Salmon. Oh, that's better. Much better to give the big guy the football out in front and let him take advantage of his height and reach advantages and Tim Watson still in a lot of pain behind play it was as if Stretch didn't see Watson Watson wasn't really prepared he probably thought Stretch was going to do something to evade that issue but it's moments like those that's that he'd right. rather be sitting where you are Donny I think well, I don't think I'd like to be changed place with him a bit too old well, I think he wouldn't mind sitting up a there a bit here goes Salmon for his second goal. It's got the distance, but I don't think it's got the accuracy. It hasn't. So one goal, two now to Salmon. I mentioned about Salmon earlier, how he always starts a game well. Well, he's done it again today, hasn't he? Now, look at this. Look. Yeah, I don't think they expected one another to clash like that. Kick in. Tingay nearly takes the mark. Buick was nearly off. Handball, kick it. Tries to get it back to O'Donnell. Good harassing work by Cal. Oh, he's that too long. That should be penalised now. Yes. Oh! Surely that's a free He held the O'Donnell. ball up. He was well tackled, Stephen Phoebe. And the ball's gone down. That's how hard he was holding it in one hand. <laughs> Don't believe it. Oh, well, look, he's shown. <laughs> the ball's down. It's flat. It's, it's flat. flat. That's why he held on to it. You've got to have terrific eyes for this game. <laughs> What did they feed you on that plane oh. on the way back last night? Carrots. Yes. <laughs> Typical rabbit. Fighting. Uh, oh, it is a lovely day at the footy. It is. Grenvold. Towards Salmon. Well spoiled. Playing at the bottom. Did make an attempt to get it out. And, in fact, did. And eventually over there. Actually, going back to that, still holding the ball, isn't it? Technically, it is, yes. whether it's flat or pumped up. Yeah, that's exactly right. Holding the ball. Throw it. Steins again. Lovely little tap down towards Hopgood. He gets it away. Ops towards centre wing. Away he goes. Playing well, Ops to the half forward line. Harvey trying to use the body to create a path for Danaher. It's effective. Off to Harvey. Centre wing. Grenvold. David Grenvold can't strug the off tackle. He's playing well. Tingo. He's no good. There's something wrong with David Grenvold too. Because he's holding his left arm. Massini did well. Pumps at the half board. Salmon at the back. The late flyer. View it. 43 metres out. Short little chip. And he finds Michael Long. Long wants to go on with it. 
And now David Grenvold in the hands of the physio. And when Watson is not 100%, here's the pass. It's good. Salmon will have a shot. 35 metres. His first intention was Salmon, Sandy, who went back to the 10 metre square and the pass was nearly on. And he held it up and waited for Salmon eventually to lead, which was good. Started playing in 1983. Did 422 goals in his career, Paul Salmon. James Hurd, uh, who was Grenvold going to come Beach. off, Sandy. Grenvold off for Essendon. There he is. He's not too good, David. So the Bombers having their injury problems. Salmon shoots for goal. Drop front looks pretty good. Two goals. Paul Salmon. Four goals, two last week against Hawthorne. Salmon. But White has done particularly well since that first goal that Salmon kicked. Oh. There it is, not a problem. Only 30 metres out. So it's a good battle between full forward and full back. Five seven to four five. Essendon lead. Eight points. Mercedes taken by Somerville, doing well. Kick towards the half forward area. Cow. Advantage. Brilliant. Well done by Cow. Long kick. Oh, David needs it, taken it, spin it, done everything before he really oh, takes oh, it. Oh, and now he's oh. been penalised for holding the ball. Harvey, the recipient of the free kick. Lyon trying to mind the mark. Nearly got a 50 metre penalty. The umpire remonstrated. Yes, there. the umpire saw Plain holding on to Hayden Robbins. The umpire Ro right on the spot. Robbins to take the free kick. He'll kick it back towards centre half forward for Melbourne. No mark taken. Grinter can't gather it. Ball spills. Stretch. Grinter no, held, but he didn't have it. Something you don't see nowadays. Players with ankleets, and that's what Hayden Robbins got on. The old-fashioned elastic ankleets. Ankleets. Interesting. Simons at the back. Tingo. Oh, smothered by Simons. Ball rebounds for Denham. Little kick. Have a look at Michael Long. The only man between him and the goal is Jimmy Steins. And he's going to take him on. Two bounces. Look yeah. at him go. Oh, in towards the 50 metre area. No mark taken. Ball spills for Simons. Looks for the hand pass. O'Donnell. Oh, kick brilliantly smothered, but rebounds for Simons. Stretch with pace. Away he goes to Stephen Phoebe. A high kick out towards the wing, and the mark is taken by Neitz. Quickly off to Viney, who's still in the middle, spearing it in the half forward line. Now. Terrific by both sides. Off to Djakovic in the pocket. Plays on! Jacko on the left foot! Oh, it's hit the face of the post. Thank you, Donald. Had that padding not been there, Sandy, it might have got through. One behind. 4-6, plays 5-7. In a thriller. Stein's trying to get clear, trying to get front spot to take the mark. Couldn't do so. Out it comes to Peter Road. Somehow, threads his way through, then kicks in towards goal, but he's way off to the right. He's sneaking it in from behind. One straight kick the difference. Fletcher to bring it back into play. Nitz has gone back onto Hurd. Hurd coming off into change. Road back up on the forward line for Melbourne. Lovely kick, almost down to centre wing. Somerville judged it better than anyone. Doing a good job, Somerville. Plays on quickly, long on that outer side. This time decided not to take the Steins on. Kicks to Hurd. Swings it into half forward. Salmon edged out. Cow could have been held. Beautiful. Blaine lost it. Bounced off his back and he said, where is it? Where is it? Phoebe to the half back line. Hurd, clean ball. Long, under pressure, ball spilling free towards O'Donnell. Close to the boundary line, he's a left footer. Kicks it high, Carl in the pack, unable to take the mark. And Sean White eventually gets it away to Phoebe, who kicks wide to the other side. Somerville can't take the mark. Free kick Lines against the Stein, surely. To Somerville. Nothing and happening. A throw in, Donald. Will take place. It's uh, Stephen Phoebe who kicked the ground. 
the back pocket read. Steins this time effective to love it. Up towards the centre half forward. And in front, Stephen Stretch. Beautiful deliverer of the football, but on that occasion, over the head of Jakovic. Simons waits at the back. Bombers having the numbers. Harvey to Danaher. Tucked in the back pocket still. And then mucking around with it across that full back line. Denham in the other pocket. Sees Essendon away. Out of trouble. Out to Somerville. And he takes a fine mark. Into the centre. Wanganin. Oh, free kick to Wanganin, surely. Not paid. Stein. And pass out wide. Phoebe again off to Viney. Viney has a look at the options he has available. Back to Phoebe. In towards half forward. Fletcher. Soccer's off the ground. Intelligently so. And a throw in to take place. 5G used his head quickly, that young kid. He's just 18 years of age, and he summed that up beautifully. Melbourne having much the better of the centre breaks in this second term. Grinter, little tap on for Obst. Obst breaks clear. Short kick, effective, or if it's not a mark, it's a free kick. Awarded to Tingay outside 50 metres. Stephen Tingay, by oh, geez, creeping in from the boundary line. Now the short pass is on, and the mark is taken by Jakovic. Now Tingay obviously thought he was too far out to get the distance. He's probably made the angle a little more difficult. Still yeah. not a bad kick for a right footer from there, is it? Well, Alan Jakovic, a very talented player. Let's have a look. Kicks for goal. And kicks a behind. So both full forwards at this stage have kicked two goals, two. And Essendon lead by five points. Just yep. under seven minutes left in the second quarter. Melbourne have got the outriders. Most of the Essendon players are in at centre-half back. Now the break's on. Fletcher kicks in, 65 metres, long at the back, look at the pace, two bounces, and then kicks in towards half forward, kick it, at the back, Neats, under pressure there from Hurd, and it goes Grinder over off. for a throw in. Grinder off for Melbourne, and coming on is Simster. Simister, Scott Simister. Teal cover. Wish him well. Kick it. Close to the boundary line. Plain takes an errant hand pass. Phoebe gets it out. Away they go again, Melbourne. Up towards the centre. Stretch just sneaking away from Wanganin. Now Tingo. Wide on the wing. Into half for Jakovic. One in each term today. 132 goals in his short career. Oh, that's a kick. Lovely kick. Three to Jacko. Really did he hook the ball on that occasion, Jakovic. <laughs> Jumped into it. It's from 50 metres. Well set up by Tingay and also a good lead, mark, kick, whatever else you like, by Jakovic. Really hose into it. Gets a distance. And accuracy, not a problem. Back in the middle once again. A point the difference. Favouring Melbourne. Oh, the bounce. Not a good one on that occasion for the Bombers. Carl takes it. Up to half forward. Road marks in front of his eyes. Peter Road has Tingay loose. He uses him. Stephen Tingay can run on. Have a shot from 50. Simons gets him late. It's coming back. What a doing it well aren't they the D's Stephen Tingay his first goal and it's great to see him back playing football because a couple of years ago he fell through a plate glass door at Shepparton lost a lot of weight 
very lucky not to do himself further damage, but just through perseverance, he built himself back up again. He showed a lot of talent before that accident. Now he's getting back on track, wearing number two. There he is in the foreground. Bounce back in the centre, under five minutes left. Somerville, a good tap out. Away goes Phoebe. Hand pass for Glenn Lovett. Lovett's high kick. Half forward, bounces. And the bounce eventually favouring Wanganu. Bombers under a little bit of pressure now. Away for Fletcher from O'Donnell. Short kick taken by Long. Long looks up there for Hurd. Punched away by Neitz, doing a disciplined job. Handball, Steins. Over the top, Stephen Phoebe. Now Todd Viney. Viney is on the wing. His high kick towards half forward. Mark taken by the rubber man, Gavin Wanganine. Wanganine's kick in towards centre half back. The mark taken by Denham. Denham to Vasidi. In turn for Harvey. Switching play to this member side of the ground. Thompson has only got one side to kick with. The left foot in towards Salmon. Couldn't take the mark. Mercury has the football. It's tapped clear. Bradley playing in a bit of trouble. But he gets his foot to the ball. Salmon. Oh, he oh. can't pick it up. Oh! Oh, Matthew Phoebe goes in after it with Sean White and they lock it up. Donny, you've got something to say. No. No, I won't say it. Not happy with that little effort there oh, from I don't number think three. Was at all happy. No. So a ruck contest on the 50 metre line. Salmon being forced to do it. And in the finish, giving away a free kick. So the ball to be taken by Jimmy Steins. He's 50 metres from the Essendon goal. His short kick has been taken by Stephen Feeney. Stephen goes back to Steins. He's on half back. Kicking to a congested centre wing. Simon's front spot line in late. Tingay gets the hand pass away to Love. Still on centre wing. Weaves apart. And then kicks to half forward. Yates cleverly to Rogue. May have to go back in and get it as Thompson tries to stop it. Danaher shrugs the Tingay tackle but goes to ground. Rogue picks it up. Kicks in towards full forward. Fletcher out in front. Palms it down for Bomber Thompson. Love it's got him. And he eventually puts it over the line. Now a free kick. Too high. Love it covers a lot of ground. He was on centre wing. And now he's up in the forward pocket. Masidi. From full back. Out to the half back flank. Line and Watson. Scramble for it. And it's over the line. Well done, Watson. He just got his foot to that. Seemed uh, to cop a nasty one in the first quarter, but appears to have recovered. It should be okay. And hasn't done too bad on Gary Lyon. Nope. Wanganee takes the hand. The centre wing. Simon's a little too far underneath the football, but he's quick to make amends. Belts in there and gets it and gets it out. Towards full forward. No this man, it, no. it's and an interesting move what they've, David Neitz. what they've done, Melbourne, with Neitz, because he was moved off. Uh, yeah. When Hurd went off the ground, he went down forward. Hurd comes back on. Neitz goes back onto Hurd, and he's kept Hurd quiet, Neitz. Tingay almost in the middle. Up to half forward. Bomber Thompson on his own. Now that, 50, that's 50, a case 50, for 50, 50 metres. That's the only legitimate case I've seen this year where the man is penalised for trying to stop the player from running on. Peter Rowe, let's have another look. Robbo? He wouldn't let go and he wouldn't get back on the mark. Road. But really, it's not a true 50, it's about 40. Into full forward. Fisted back towards Love. Gets a nice bounce. Someone going past, yes, Cal. Towards the centre wing. He's a good player, Cal. I watched him earlier against West Coast. I hadn't seen him before, but he does impress with his speed. That's a good mark from Hopwood, too. Flat looking kick up towards half forward, and Yates does well. Graham Yates, a little chip out in front of line, who snuck away from Tim Watson. Jagovic had come a long way out, now he drifts back. Go long, that's about his only option, he's a bit too slow, Gary Lyon. He goes for the torpedo, he might nearly dob it. Well, he's not, he's going to go short. And this time, Jagovic gets it. He's closer, a little bit closer, about 20 metres closer, but the angle, far more acute. 
Very definite, wasn't it? Oh! Nice little turn, wasn't it? A little 360. With Pike. Degree of difficulty, 2.5. Jakovic has three. Well, he won't add to that. And if you give it, you've got to be able to take it. The crowd certainly gave him a bit of a, yep. a rev then. But it's been a good quarter for the Demons. It's nearly half time. Well, yes, it is. It's a long quarter, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> like working with a soothsayer. But it has been a very exciting first half here at the MCG. With the honours with Melbourne, they lead 6 8 to 5 goals 7. Even though both sides booted 3 goals in that second term, Alan Jakovic has 3. Gary Lyon has been uh, a dominant player for Melbourne. Tim Watson's had a big job to do. It's half time here at the MCG in a close one. Melbourne, 6 8, Essendon, a 5 7. The name of the game is Australia. Looks like Grinder and Gilbert on the interchange bench for Melbourne. So we're about to go into the second half. And as we said, kick it and Danaher. Melbourne haven't got a true rover. They've got Viney, Lovett, and Viney. Um, <laughs> how could they have him twice? That's like a legal firm. Here we go. Second half. Honours with Melbourne. There's one of the Vineys. Phoebe. Matthew. Off to Tingo. 55 metres out. Into the pocket he goes. And the pass was a beauty. And the kick will be by Scott Semista. Just 35 metres out, but on a pretty tight angle. From Springvale, Scott Semister, former Teal Cupper. 69 in the 92 draft too, Sandy. An important start for Melbourne. Coming back. But he's drifted it across the face. Oh, it's good! <laughs> wow! It well, well, was a remarkable goal because it did drift across the face, but then hooked back viciously at the last moment. And a beautiful goal. That was his first. I don't know whether we can get a shot of this as it's going across the face of goal. Just watch it in flow. Maybe we'll get a it's shot of it. It's all happened flight. after it's gone through. Look you at see this. It's going through the goals. Oh, and I then thought... the wind grabs it. Oh, is that what happened? But I've actually seen a goal go through the goal and come out again. Peter Hudson kicked it at St Kilda one day. Well, more importantly, Melbourne get the first score of the second half. A goal. Somerville. Handball clear. Buick. Trying to get the ball to bounce nicely for himself. He's well harassed there by Cal. And eventually the ball trundles over the boundary line. So we'll have a throw in. Darren they Buick. They say picking racehorses is a hard game. Football in 1993 is just as hard as picking a winner on the races. Well, that's what the, uh, the draft and the salary cap was designed to do. Just uh, level the competition up. And I'm sure it's having a, a, a definite impact. Melbourne struggling to get the ball clear of their defence. The reason I say that is because that Essendon played so well last week against Hawthorne. You wouldn't believe it's the same side. Well, you've got to give credit to Melbourne. I think they've done their homework very, very well on Essendon. Grenvold's kicking towards centre-half forward. No mark taken. Stephen Phoebe away for Robbins. Robbins kick nearly smothered off the boot. But it's not too bad because it gives Ops the chance to run onto it. Andrew Ops. Oh, confidence. Loping. It's still got clear. Love it. Away for Hopgood. Hopgood's kick is OK. And Jakovic marks. They're looking all right, Robert. Touch of arrogance. From goal. The way that uh, Ops took on the Essendon defenders. They have caught them napping a little bit. Alan Jakovic. Opportunity here for his fourth goal. Not a bad kick. I think it's a goal. It is. So the first two goals now of the second half to Melbourne, and they stretch their lead to 19 points. Well, he had six to half time last week, Jakovic, but that was well finished off by Hopgood. Saw Hopgood earlier in the air against West Coast, and there's no made a change. Danaher's of interchange. That's Chris going off Anthony on. 
And he's a little all he was at all at sea at that game, Hopgood, but today he's doing particularly well. Back in the middle. Melbourne open up the biggest lead they've had. Wanganeen across half back to Michael Long off to Harvey. Steers it wide. Joe Masidi. Not good, the man who's set up. Djokovic earlier on the mark. To half forward, Salmon was his target. Couldn't complete the mark. Sean White at the back does well. Off to Lovett, now Cowell. They're out of trouble. Back towards Obst on the outer wing. He's covering plenty of ground. Andrew Obst, little chip for Stein. Long came over the top. Here's Tingo to the 50 metre line. Gary Lyon is target. Close to the boundary line is Harvey. He's going to keep it in play. Lyon has it. Gets the hand pass away. Danger here for Eston again because Djangovic has taken the mark. Stephen Phoebe spearing it into the forward. And he'll have a shot directly in front, 40 metres out. Did you see Heard now picking up Gary Lyon? Heard played back in the night series, pre season series. He's a better forward, but then again, Eston have got to do something. Djakovic for number five. Ooh, if you kick that one, danger signs would have gone up. Margin is 20 points. Well, they already look concerned, those Essendon boys, don't they, yes. in the coach's box? Yes, and uh, not without cause, because it's been a mighty start to the second half by Melbourne. Obst again. Sets up the hand pass to Tingo. Stephen Tingo ignores line and goes in towards the left forward pocket in the old practice wickets here at the MCG. The ground's very dry. looks very dry, doesn't it? It's a good water. Well, they watered it yesterday. Essendon being slaughtered around the middle of the ground. Harvey towards Grenvold and the boundary line. Well, it's so important, isn't it, to win around midfield. When you look at the way the forwards set up, Essendon on one hand have got uh, two-man forward line and they're both on the edge of the goal square, so you've really got to win it where the numbers are, and that's around midfield. Ruck contest, Hurd gets the tap down. Yates, Masidi, looking for Grenvold. And another throw-in will take place. Grenvold there in the picture. The play is about 65, 70 metres from the Melbourne goal. Gary Lyon, Harvey, now a chance for Viney. Leaves it for Ops, but uh, nearly Michael Long held when he didn't have it. Bradley Plain gets his foot to it, kicks it near the centre of the ground. Hopgood taken down by Mercury, and Hopgood, without the football, he'll get the free kick. Oh. Matthew Phoebe, handball, Denham, who's been extremely quiet. Mercury, Mercedes, Buick, one too many handball. Eventually, O'Donnell forced to kick quickly out towards half forward. Plain, but Neitz wants it, and he gets it. Both of them. And the kick, not too bad either. Looking for Lyon, but back goes Mercedes. Handball over the top, Heard in trouble. And the Young Bombers not having the same influence on this game as they have over the last five or six weeks. James Heard now has the job on Gary Lyon. Here's Glenn Lovett. They look far more settled, Melbourne. Lovett's kick across the ground. Stephen Phoebe tackled by Buick. Ball taken by Thompson, away for Buick, in turn Mercedes, handball to Wanganeen, Wanganeen goes for O'Donnell, Oops. into Somerville, he's in trouble, gets rid of it quickly, Mercedes, by G, it's hot, get him a quick kick, and that's what's happening. Up towards full no, forward, needs, and the mark needs. is taken by Salmon, no. Needs in front. Needs from full back. It's to the outer side, but the kick drop short, Grenville takes it. For all the play that Essendon are having just in this last few minutes, they need to get a score. Grenville's kick to half forward. Stein's up a little early, got the left fist to it. Robbins spears it wide for Stretch. Stephen Stretch from half back. Flicking it up over the centre once again. Thompson's in front, takes a timely mark. Good decision. Wanganeen spearing in towards full forward. Watson there gives it away. Here's a chance for Long. 48 metres. An awkward looking kick, but it's going to be close. Touch. Oh. One behind. The 
Bombers wanting goals at the moment. 5 8. There's 8 9 with Melbourne. Kicking two quick goals at the start of this third quarter. Stephen Phoebe's kick out is socket off the ground up towards centre wing. Getting very dark here at the MCG. And it's over the line, courtesy of David Beats. Those clouds look threatening too, Sandy, in the distance. Neil Baum. Happy that his team's starting to settle down. Grenvold again. To half forward. Essendon wanting a score bad. Buick. Now Simons burst his way through. Where are the runners? Essendon trying desperately to get forward. Harvey. Longer kick. Penetrating Watson at the back. Couldn't take the mark. Plain, a fine smother. Bradley Plain keeps going. Gives it to O'Donnell. 20 metres out and he's kicked one. Gary O'Donnell's first goal and a much needed one for the Bombers. To say they needed that would be the understatement of the day. Correct. Cliche, but correct. O'Donnell actually showed a lot of composure here. Watch it, he'll finish up with the ball, then just slide, steadies down. He realises the situation, he's going to be tackled, but still doesn't panic and bangs through his first goal. It's a good kick by O'Donnell. Well, a very, very important kick there by Gary O'Donnell. Gets Essendon back to within 13 points of Melbourne. Somerville and Steins. Grenvold, no, it's Opst. Gets it clear. The Cowles kick was beautifully smothered. Michael Long onto it like a dart. Short kick. In towards centre-half forward. Mercury held. Did he have the football? No. But gee, was lucky. Yeah, well, I thought he was too. Of exactly it, right. I... You wonder whether you call this, whether the player's in possession. See there, he more or less had it in possession. It was on the end of the hands, but he just couldn't control it, or could he control it and let it go purposefully? Mercury short kick. Oh, chopped off well by Matthew Phoebe. Plays on quickly. Good long kick out towards the wing. Attempted punch away by Harvey. Picked up by Wanganoo. Harvey goes in towards the centre of the ground. The mark is taken by Mercedes. Looking to give the hand pass. He does to Buick. Urgency now with the Bombers. Buick from the centre of the ground. Let goes with a bomb. Salmon, two men back oh, on him. Sam. Stephen Phoebe. Handball, Sean White. White's kick okay. Viney marks. White, oh, very lucky, unlucky to give it well. Salmon, unlucky not to get a free kick then. Todd Viney from the back pocket. Long kick to centre wing. Harvey the fly. Fine mark. Centering kick towards Simons. Beautiful kick by Harvey. It had to be spot on, Sandy. And it was. Salmon will be his target again. Oh, it goes over the top. Can he soccer it off the ground? Can Watson do it? Bobber's come back. Well, there he is, the veteran, Timmy Tim Watson. Off the ground. Timmy Tim. Yes. Timmy Tim Watson. Here he comes, here he comes. You know he doesn't like it, don't you? And Salmon off the ground for Essendon. It was a good effort by Watson. Salmon off the ground for Essendon. And Watson gets his first as the Bombers come back. Matthew Phoebe tries to palm it off towards Obst. He's under pressure, but gets a short kick finding Viney. Todd Viney swings it wide for Stephen Phoebe. The right footer into the pocket. That's a good kick. That is a beautiful kick. And it finds Scott Samista. Now Hurd's gone back down to the forward line. Sean White's going out to pick him up. Tim Watson playing at full forward. David Nitz, his opponent. Let's see if this one bends Donald. Oh, no. Oh, With no. the other one. I didn't think he even scored. Out of bounds on the field. Joe Masiti, the man waiting. Gilbert and Grinder warming up around the boundary line for Melbourne. Masiti, flat looking kick. Stein's got a hand to it. Denham's been very quiet. O'Donnell to the ground. 
It's interesting, I was talking to some press guys at uh, half time and they said it was a nothing type of game, isn't it, How Do you agree? Yes, so? I do. It, it, oh. And it's caused by the fact that both teams have oh, tackled. I'm, I'm quite enjoying but I, I thought the feature is... Oh, I think it's terrific. Yeah. A lot of tackling, there's a lot of pressure out there and consequently they can't display the skill. But I think there's a lot of intensity there. Melbourne supporters delighted that their skipper has a free kick on the right half forward flank. There's Gary Lyon involved. There's the left arm of Chris Danaher. Maybe it was too high. Maybe a push in the back. Fell over. Well, he's 60 metres out. He's going short again. This time, good interception, however. And the mark well taken by Joe Massini. Very, very well done. Stuck in the back pocket. Massini again towards centre wing. I love it. Grenbold. Who's got the hand yeah, on Yeah, side play to Grenbold too, although Lovett was in front. Usually it goes the other way. Grenbold cross half back. Low over the centre he goes. No mark. Steins leaves it. The hurried kick was by Hopgood. Only as far as Grenbold, who's certainly picking up plenty of possessions, kick number 10. Down towards the 50 metre line. The dive was on by Simons. He couldn't take the oh, ball. Oh, got one. He could see that coming. You could see that coming. And uh, Plain has had his number taken. He yeah. was explaining it was the shoulder. Well, you could see that coming, the way that Cal was going for the ball, and Plain was bearing down at 100 miles an hour. And the collision just could not be avoided. He's in a bit of trouble, that young fella, too. He's taking his mouth guard out safe side they'll have to give the kick to somebody else actually Robbins has got the ball now the umpire's held up play because uh, you're going to have to stop playing well, until either he's removed from the ground or he's up and okay well obviously there, there might be a uh, a request for a stretcher and I think that's why the umpire is holding up play you know the best pill in this situation, give him the ball and let him have a kick. It's amazing how they recover quickly, isn't it, players? But I don't think Cowell is on this occasion. He's going off the ground. And Grindle will have to come back on. In the meantime, play goes on, Don. Stephen Phoebe drifted into centre wing. Love it, takes the mark. Well, he's able to jog he's off. He's able to jog. That's exactly right, Sandy. Love it. The half forward. Harvey in from the side with a big fist. Tingo running. Court. Gives it away. Oh, love it. Beautifully done to Viney. Left foot smothered well by Fletcher. Back to Viney again. Tucked in the pocket. Pulls it round his oh. body. Play on as the call as it pulled in with the one hand. Harvey holds it up. And the Why is he penalised for holding the ball? Good question. As Don? soon as he calls play on, he had plenty of chance to get rid of this, Alan Jakovic. There. Now, get rid of it, son. Called to play on. He dropped Should it. have been penalised. Yes, I suppose you're right. A ball up in the left forward pocket there for Melbourne. Anthony Danaher sees the ball over. Alan Jakovic. He's kicked four goals, so his performance so far not too bad. 11 minutes left in the third term. Ruck contest. Oh, kicked by Jakovic. <laughs> oh, he has <laughs> nearly pulled that one out of his hat. <laughs> four goals four to Jakovic the kick in Thompson Thompson's kick towards the wing Steins in front oh. can't take the mark he's completely out of sorts Jimmy Steins Denham away for Grenvold here go the Bombers again Grenvold, hemmed in on that half-back flank region. Short kick. Oh, it's Grinder. too high. You're in trouble, Chris Danner. Grinder. Now Glenn Lovett. Oh, they're going to pay. Glenn Lovett's kick in towards full forward. Punched away by Anthony Danaher from young Semista. And Jakovic screaming down the ground. Give me a chance when you kick it into the forward line, he says. By gee, isn't he a volatile player? Alan Jakovic. Harvey and Rode. Tapped away by Wanganeen. Well done. Little kick. 
into the path there of Somerville. He overruns it. In goes Matthew Phoebe. Handball for Steins. Glenn Lovett. Running is Robbins. He gets the kick away up towards the half forward region. Running back with the flight of the ball. Harvey misses it. And he forced a kick across the half back flank region. You must get it, Anthony. Oh, he got it. And should have got the free kick. Michael Long. Handball back. Masidi in trouble. Obster's the Melbourne player, but Joe Masidi does it well. And finds touch about 65, 70 metres from the Melbourne goal. Melbourne throwing everything at Essendon. And Essendon trying desperately to stay with the Ds. Denham sees it spill free. Viney. By a ball goes up, but Grenville's away. Up over centre wing, a high kick. Stretch. Did exactly that and took a fine mark. Into the middle. Line. Oh, lightning hand pass to love it. Melbourne to the half forward line. Over the back it goes. Jakovic, 40 out. Pulls it round his body. Into full forward. No mark taken. Pushed in towards the oh, point post. Going to be kept in play by Semister. Still going as the youngster. Now they set upon him. Just and couldn't control over. it. He had the sit initially, followed it on, but just couldn't control that bouncing ball. Throw in, Road trying to do the work from behind. CD was there. Thompson. To the outer half-back flank, long. Drifting away from Tingay. Now, what's he got? Nothing. So he's got to go long as he possibly can. Over the head of Bradley Plain. Continues to bounce to White, off to Robbins. Now Viney on the outer side. Spearing kick in towards Lovett in the middle. He's got Big Jim. To half forward, Thompson. Oh, the skipper doing his best. Oh. But that's a poor kick. Off the side of the boots. Going to put pressure on Wanganeen. He's happy to see it over the line. Throw in. I think I have to repeat that the conditions down there at ground level must be difficult because that kick by Mark Thompson was just I think that swirling very wind. uncharacteristic yeah. from his point of view. Wanganeen showing lovely skills. Watson taking it in front of the eyes. Tim Watson just forward of centre. Goes long in towards full forward. No one there to take a mark, however. And once again, it's going to be David Neitz. Cross to Robbins, has a bounce at fullback, gets out of trouble. Oh, good kick. Good Towards kick. Obst. Oh! Love it, helps him out. So too, Viney and Stretch. Stretch can have a run. Through the centre he goes. Look at that kick. Oh, oh beautiful. What a magnificent kick. Oh, easy. No, but he's got to come back and kick over the mark. There's the mark. He should have gone back. He hesitated. Had he have played on, everything would have been okay. But he hesitated for that fraction, then had to come back over the mark. But what a kick from Stretch. The crowd, the Melbourne crowd, went up in one, as one as Stretch got the ball. There was the marks. He's more or less stumbled forward, then decided to play on. And the umpire made the right decision, actually. Jagovic for number five. Hit the post. Jacko. Barmy gets off the phone. He can't believe. It. Well, I'd mark it down. No, for five goals. Never a shoot. However, well, uh, it's a behind. 8 11. Play 7 8. I hope they turn the lights on here soon. It's getting very dark. Grenball. Oh! Well, now he was bouncing it. He was bouncing it. When you bounce it like that, it's in your possession. You can't throw it away as you're being tackled. Rinta. The half-forward line takes the mark. The skipper to Djangovic. Directly in front. He's going to be kicking from 50. What can he do this time? Well, he's kicked them from here before. How many behinds does he kick, Robbo? Five. Four, five. If he kicks this goal, my scoreline will be right then. <laughs> you refuse because to I cross marked it out. him down before. Let's see what he does. Directly in front. Well, a stammering approach, and he goes back again. 
checking where the mark is. Now he's on his way. From 50 metres. Good looking kick off the boot. But another behind. So Robbo's scoring book is up the spout. I wonder if this is the worst effort he's put in as far as uh, points go because he's usually a very, very accurate kick for goal, Djakovic. 9 2 last week. Bradley playing off for Essen and Derek Kickett coming back on, going up to the forward line, being picked up by Hayden Robbins. Five minutes left in the third quarter. Anthony Danaher comes to the members' side. The ball <laughs> clears the pack. Viney tackled by Buick. Handballs it to his own advantage, then gives it to Grinter. Grinter back to Todd Viney. Viney sweeps one in towards the centre. Steins, Ooh. a high kick. You're in trouble, Road, but he stands his ground and takes a good mark. He's outside 50. Now he gives the hand pass away to Stephen Phoebe. Short pass, oh. chopped off by Masidi. It was meant for Djakovic, but Masidi in between Phoebe and Djakovic. Masidi long. Looking for oh. Simons up oh, high. Couldn't take the mark, but his opponent stretch. Stays on the ground and gets the ball up towards full forward for free Melbourne. Kick, There's a free kick. kick. It'll go to Fletcher against Djakovic. The that advantage is. is paid. Now Essendon should carry this all the way down the ground. Player on his own is Grenvold, who's had a sensational third quarter. Grenvold's kick. In towards full forward, Hurt can't take the mark. Neats, a little handball. Robbins away for Sean White. White to Glenn Lovett. Glenn Lovett's kick into the centre, and the mark is taken by Viney. Viney plays on. Handball for Stephen Phoebe. In turn, Obst. Melbourne just may make Essendon pay. No, they won't. The Bombers go forward. Aye. Denham chipping in. Denham towards full forward. Hurd punched away by Neitz. He's hurt Third himself. Of hurt. Back hurt. there is Hopgood, right on the boundary line. Hamstring, hamstring. hamstring oh, was... Jimmy Steins leaves it behind. Well done, Steins. He followed up well. Still there, 50 metres from the Melbourne goal. Stephen Phoebe, the Eston goal, rather. His kick goes back near the wing. Chance for Grinter. Wanganine into the action. So is Yates for Melbourne. And Yates has the footy. He kicks it in towards the centre-half forward area. The mark taken by Mercedes. And he's coming Bennett. off. Hurd's coming off. He's done a hamstring. Grenvold on the outer side is beaten by Stretch. Stephen Stretch, who delivered that ball so beautifully just minutes ago, kicks to Road on the left half-forward flank. Hurd off with a hamstring. Bad news for the Bombers. Lovett has it at centre-half-forward. Wants to go on with it quickly. Djakovic, the meat in the sandwich. Road again from a standing start. Puts it long. For behind. Point. Yes. Oh, tell you what, what Glenn Lovett's done well again today. He's had, uh, I think, 15 and 10, Sandy. Been in great form, hasn't he? 8 oh, 13. Melbourne, and uh, they've thrown the challenge. That point from Peter Road. The score mounts, 8 13. Well, nothing's going Essendon's way as far as injuries go. Oh, Bomber slips, but he's up and away. Towards centre wing. Going to be a tight old last quarter. Stephen Phoebe chipping towards Djakovic. Four six. He's kicked. Good pass. Good pass by Stephen Phoebe. Robo's not, Robo's not well. going to be happy until he kicks another goal. What am I going to do? Directly in front. Aha, aha. Let's go, he says. Five goals. Six, is that right? Five, yes. six, I make it. Well, that means he's kicked six goals. And that was Phoebe. Terrific pass across to Djakovic. Five goals, six to Alan Djakovic. A couple of minutes remaining in the third quarter. Buick overruns it. Matthew Phoebe says, where is it? Where is it? This could be a good buffer for Melbourne if the rain does come. It looks like it could. Robbins to half forward. Oh, the fly by Yates, he couldn't complete the mark. He's done well today, hasn't he, Phoebe? 
still at the bottom. Wanganin gets it out. The Bombers through Denham. Fine kick it on centre wing. Kick it to Simons. Not good. Denham. Well done, Viney. What a tackle. Kick it. Oh, another tackle. Robbins. Robbins. Well, oh, that there. umpire ought to get in a football jumper and then ask himself, how the dickens is he going to get rid of the last of football? Well, he held on That's to it too long. No, he held on to Over it too long. Over the top of him and rode him into the blasted ground. Too long. Unbelievable decision. Well, he's got it. To send a wing. Lyon, unable to mark. Buick at the back. Across the centre he goes. The target was Mercury. Harvey, 60 metres out. Oh, Short to Watson. Back again to Harvey. What are they doing? Simons. Free Five. kick, free kick. Well it done by held. that young guy. He knew he was going to be tackled and he never took possession of the footy. So Simons will have a shot. Here we are again. You see there. Stretch fell for it. Simons in right position. Didn't take hold of it. Because he knew he was going to be tackled by Stretch. Directly in front. Just quickly getting back to that kick at the incident. This is the payback. No possible chance of getting rid of it. Don't worry about it. I know you're upset, but let's watch Simons. They need a goal very, very badly. On the siren. Two to Simons. So the scene is set for a big last quarter here at the MCG. Melbourne, 9 13 67. Lead Esther, 8 8 56. So, as Don said, the lights are on. And we should be in for a big last quarter. Actually, it's interesting watching the centre bounce. Not one rover, they're all Ruck Rover types. 11 points the margin, favouring Melbourne. They got two early goals to start the third quarter. What will happen this time? Steins can't trap it cleanly, neither can Viney. Hobbs partly smothered. Wanganeen could have been taken high. He was, said the umpire. Surely they were a little fortunate there. Wanganeen to take it from half back. Essendon desperate for the first score. Derek Kiggett spent time on the bench. Comes up shaking his head at the man in white. That will do nothing. Steins and Somerville. Oh, free kick. Held by Mark McCurry. Advantage. Into half forward. Towards Jagovic. He's really got some talent, this man. He's really got some talent. Here he is using his body and his strength on the bigger, younger Dustin Fletcher. I suppose you could say inexperienced Dustin Fletcher. Only made his debut a couple of games ago. He's still a schoolboy. Five goals, six to Djakovic at the moment. This is a very important start for Melbourne. It is just what they wanted. And what Essendon did not want. Six goals. As the Jacko show rolls on. 10-13, plays 8-8. Yeah, it's been a good effort by Djakovic. A terrific effort. His leading has been of a first-class nature. He's given them something to kick to, and he's been leading intelligently. There he is, come on, he's saying. The runner out with Dustin Fletcher, Brian Wood, the Essendon runner, going out to Dustin Fletcher. Words of encouragement. 73 to 56. Robbins marks on halfback. Looks pretty sharp. Sneaks it out towards centre wing. Grinter. Centres towards half forward. Harvey takes the mark. Lyon slip. The pressure now on the Bombers as Mark Harvey kicks to centre wing. Simons up high. Couldn't take the well mark. Well done, Rod. Grinter done. belts it over the back to gain valuable meterage. Essendon have the numbers. It's Denham. 
Short chip up towards half ball. Well done, Tim Watson. Watson. That's a strong mark. And also, White's hurt himself. Certainly bound up by bandages. Bandages White. Watson to plane. Melbourne fans giving him the rounds of the table after he was reported earlier in the match. Bradley Plain, a player with a lot of confidence, uh, not a confidence, ability. An important kick for Essendon. This is only his fourth for the match. Started it right, stayed right. One goal, two to Bradley Plain. And stretch it is to kick it back into play. And he goes to the far side, looking out there for Stephen Phoebe. The bounce is awkward for that player. Close to the boundary line, he may see it over. No, Hopgood receives the hand pass and runs away around the boundary line. Kicks it high out towards the uh, wing region, where a good mark is taken by Chris Danaher. Sweeping hand pass into the path of Harvey. Harvey's kick into the centre of the ground. Made good by O'Donnell, was excellent. Half volley was difficult. Then the hand pass for Wanganeen. Wanganeen towards full forward. Plain can't mark at the back. Watson, he's got to kick it. This must go through for Essendon. It does. Watson gets his second goal and a very, very important kick in the context of this game. Well, 10 points of difference. Watson, his first came off the ground when he showed terrific acceleration. This time, showed coolness, looked at the goals, deliberately lines it up and straight through for his second goal. Very, very quick, Tim Watson. Quick over the, in reaction and quick over the first couple of yards. Only 10 points the difference. The very important centre breaks. Essendon get it. Denham, long. High kick into the forward line. No mark taken. Robin's in trouble. Still there to be won. Oh! Oh, Plain will get another one for Essendon. Four points the difference. Two goals to Bradley Plain. A scrounger on the forward line, I would call him. And it's just four points in Melbourne's favour. Well, if you played this type of game in the 60s or 50s, you'd be criticised for the coach for changing direction and going across goal. It was a cardinal sin in the old days for that reason. If you happen to miss it, it lets the opposition in. And Yates has come off for Melbourne. Cow on. Cow going half forward. So we've got a game here. Bomber fans found their voice. Steins couldn't take it cleanly. The big man goes to ground. Piney there also. And a bounce to take place. Four points the margin. Quick goals to Essendon is what they wanted in this final term. And they got it. And after Jakovic kicked one for the D's. Stephen Phoebe round his body, a high kick to half forward. Belted wide towards the wing. Melbourne have the numbers. Phoebe again can drift it up to the half forward flank. Grinter's out in front. Jakovic gives him a lead, but it's ignored. He goes the other way toward Peter Rowe. Wanganeen at the back. Heads for the boundary line, the youngster. He's hustled all the way, and he's happy to see it over. Doing the chasing was David Neitz. Danaher, Neitz, line, just inside 50. You can see exactly where he is. Sanders it. Fletcher, couldn't take it cleanly. Eston have the numbers. Bomber Thompson to come away for the half-back line. Long, Tony got a sick. Oh, he's in trouble, but he does it beautifully. Gets rid of it. Now Essendon are clear. Mercedes kick. Well done, White. Only as far as Sean White. Off Four to Lovett. Lovett wide. He saw Grinter. And he finds it. Did well to get in front. Jakovic will be his man. Can't take it cleanly. He's hustled. Gets up. Has a free kick. It's going to Djakovic. Fletcher can't believe it. Let's have a look again, Don. Well, there's a... Well, 
was the free kick for? Yeah, I think holding the man. That's what the umpire indicated. Well, he's booted six. He's tapped on the boundary line. And the Essendon fans giving him as much support as they see fit. He was in this position earlier in the game, kicked a point. He's kicked, what, 6-6. Six, six. They bring the house down if he kicks it. Looks Not good. A bad kick. That is a sensational kick. Oh, come on, Jacko, they say. Let's go. 11 13, those 10 9. There is the free kick. Now just watch this. Grinder still with the ball holding onto it. Half volley. Yeah, I don't know. Viney gets the ball out of the centre, up towards Jakovic, nearly taken by Neitz. Ball rebounds for Harvey. In a little bit of trouble, but he's able to get his foot to the ball and kick it out near the wing. Grenvold can't take it. In comes Simons. Just when Essendon need a bit of pace, but they're dispossessed and stretches there. He gets back and kicks it long, inside 50 metres. Marking contest. Road has got it. Not paid. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And Road is marked. Very close for Peter Rhodes' maximum kicking distance, I would think. He's looking for a potential lead, but now he's going to kick it long. Oh, it's a good kick for distance. Just offline and through for his third behind. Yet to kick a goal this week, Peter Rhodes. Alan Jakovic has been the big goal scorer for the day with seven. Fletcher. To Sean Denham. Kick number 11. In a very quiet first half. Oh. Tingay. This could be costly. Tingay from 60 metres. In the full forward at the back. Rode will have a shot. Well, he had the sit, didn't he? Peter Rode. Over kick it. It was a bad option, Fletcher going to Denham. And Denham being forced to kick with the right foot. No one to lob it to. Well, actually, he kept his eye on the ball well then because Thompson was coming at him. But a little nudge here by Road. Free kick. I'll let you ponder. Peter Road for his first goal. Ninth kick. But what an important kick it is. 15 metres out. Yes! Demon supporters delirious. 12-14 plays 10-9. Well, are they home? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. There's 16 minutes of this game to be played out. Essendon looked like they were they definitely did close the gap and looked as if they could go on with it, but Melbourne have steadied. And this is a good effort by Tingay. A great effort. Long he goes. And the sit by row. So with uh, plenty of time left in the game, one wonders whether Essendon can peg back that 17-point advantage that Melbourne have. Buick over the top for Long. Long again, in towards full forward. And a good mark, an excellent mark taken by Gilbert. Standing his ground. Handball away for stretch. Stretch from half-back, goes straight down the ground. Good distance with the kick. At the back is Wanganoon. Forced to kick fairly blindly in towards the forward line. No mark taken. Gilbert is there. Leaves it for Tingo. Away for Stephen Phoebe. In turn to Glenn Lovett. Lovett bounces awkward for him. Pouncing on it was Buick, but he had three to beat. And he was unable to defeat them, and the ball goes over for a throw-in. Buick fairly quiet. Change being made. Uh, Harvey going back on the road. Kick it. I think we'll come up onto the forward line for Essendon. There's a chance for Stephen Phoebe. Now Matthew, his brother, gets into the action. Joe Mercedes, harassed by Lovett. In comes Stephen Phoebe. A floating kick into the forward line. And it bounces over in front of David Grenvold, about 45 metres from the Melbourne goal. We'll have a throw in. Essendon with the job in front of them now. 
15 minutes left. They need three goals to win the game. Lyon, Danaher. Leach there also. Fast kick it. They get another chance. Viney hot on his hammer. Oh, free kick. No free kick. Bomber fans not happy as Plain goes in. He's at the bottom of the pack, Bradley Plain. Well, the umpire was right there. Maybe kick it tripped over his own feet. Yeah, he did actually. What about that? What about one there? a bit of a push then. Anyway, there's no free kick. There is now. Oh, <laughs> is that the square You're off? You're kidding, Chris. The mate, good. Some of them from half back. Essendon wanting quick goals. Out towards Chris Danaher. Oh, got well done. Matthew Phoebe and he can't. He'll drift it into the centre. Got a couple of options there. Love it or Viney. Chose Love it. Call to play on. Chips a kick that slews off the side of his boot. Tingo is forced to defend. He gets a punch away. It comes to Grinter. Grinter gives a little ground. Off to Hopgood. Hopgood comes wider. Tingo on centre wing. Pumping it in towards the 50 metre line. Into the pocket. In towards Jakovic. Fletcher. Sees it close to the boundary line. He lopes away. Goes across goal to Chris Danner, who marks in the back pocket. This time he gets clear. No, he doesn't. They get him. He's forced the handball. It's spelled free. Phoebe couldn't take it at the first attempt. Essendon may get out of trouble. It's Denham's kick that clears them to half forward, but only as far as Big Jim Stein. And well done, Stein's getting back across that half back line. His hand pass goes away for Robbins. Robbins, short again, Viney, Viney will carry the football now oh. for Melbourne up towards their half forward area, Buick the tackler, Viney's got it, he's caught, caught. you penalised, no, yes, yes, had plenty of time to get rid of that ball, well done Buick, has to be a bit of urgency for the Bombers now, time ticking away, 13 minutes, he kicks it towards Watson's area, Watson and Robbins, and the ball goes over for a throw in, Tim looking as though he's struggling a little bit probably fitness wise which is uh, to be expected he's only played uh, what four games now kick it handball plain plain has kicked two up towards full forward salmon can't take the mark hopgood gives away a behind salmon struggling difference 16 points in favor of melbourne 12 and a half minutes left Stretch will bring it back into play. It's beautiful. Straight down the middle. Towards Obst. They have a second attempt. Line off the ground. Into the middle it goes. Cowell is there. Rides the bump. Denham's at the bottom of the pack, squatting over the ball. Cowell was good then, yep. in a contest with a man much bigger than him, Peter Somerville. Did not Showed flinch. a lot of uh, courage there. 44,094 fans here at the MCG. We're still in the middle, and the Bombers still need goals. Badly. Time running out. Long. Here's a charge. Chip over the top of the plane. <laughs> Class. Class. He thought for a moment about Simons. He thought for a moment about going short, but... Now Tim Watson saying, here they are. Just do it. I don't know if he's confident of kicking the distance. Obviously not. So to Paul Salmon. Salmon's been pretty well held. He's kicked only a couple. One in the first term and one in the second. But if he gets this, Sandy, there's only ten points of difference. And Essendon's catch-up football continues. And there's still time for them to get in front. Sean White signalling to the bench. Here's Salmon. 40 metres out. Drop putt. Going to be close. Oh, close to it. Not what they wanted. Now, well, Melbourne would have to be considered a bit stiff if they were to lose the game, wouldn't you think? Yes. Well, they've certainly controlled play, haven't they? Well, you made an interesting uh, observation, Don, at three-quarter time that they'd increased their lead at every break. Oh, not paid to Obst. 
now a free yeah, kick. Something's happening made. here. It's Matthew Phoebe getting a free kick, I think. He's done well today, this fellow. Too high. Coming up for his 22nd possession. And he's kicking towards full oh. It's going to be marked by Nitz. A little bit too easy. In a tight finish, I don't think uh, Kevin Sheedy and his band of trusty assistants would be very happy with that. So David Neitz, who's played most of his football today on the back line at centre-half back, shooting for goal for the Demons. Hits the top of the post. Oh. The absolute top of the post. <laughs> Well, he was looking for it. That was to be his first goal. In the we go, can we have another look at that? Would be a very, very unusual occurrence, I would think. Dustin Fletcher to kick it back into play. We haven't got a replay of that, but uh, Fletcher goes long. Beautiful kick. Kick it makes it difficult for Matthew Phoebe. Unfairly, says the umpire. No, it's not Matthew Phoebe. It's Nix who'll take the free kick. Into half forward, into Djakovic. Did that well, didn't he? Because Wanganin was on the fly as well. And just grabbed the ball. Look at Wanganin coming across the path. Maybe Djakovic got there a little before Wanganin. But it did look like there could be a collision between the two. Jacko for number seven from 49 metres. He's kicking them everywhere. Eight. My word. Nine last week. Nine two last week. He's got eight six. Eight. Yes, eight six today. He's certainly been a focal point up forward. There he is. Very jubilant. Easy to lose count with Djakovic. He's kicked eight. Piney sends them into attack again. Melbourne are home. No doubt about that. 40 metres out from goal. And this time it sneaks away from the lightning forward and over the boundary line. Eight goals, six for the day. Uh, four points up at quarter time, Melbourne. Seven at half time. 11 at three quarter time. The way they're going at the moment, they're 22 points up. So they've increased and gone further ahead this the last quarter. Don't forget, Essendon got within four points at one stage in the last quarter. Yes, they got a couple of quick goals, didn't they, Dom? From uh, Watson and Plain. That was as close as they got. Viney comes in for a second attempt and then under pressure sees it over the line. Lights are on. Light rain just starting to fall here. Has been a forecast of some torrid weather on the way. It looks as though it's not all that far away. But... And very cold too, Sandy, here at the MCG. Salmon. Oh. Who's holding who? Chris Dano sneaks away, but the whistle and sound. Salmon will get it. David needs it, I don't believe it. Paul Salmon towards Somerville. Not quite on centre wing. Viney caught by Simons, but he just gets his kick. But straight back to seven. Sting's gone out of this game now. With Melbourne home. Denham having it on the half-back flank. Bombers that need some finish. But into the middle. Off is the only one who wants it. Kick number 11. With the hand pass. Hopkins. Gilbert loses it. Thompson off to uh, O'Donnell. Short little chip, but straight back to Ops. Sean White off. And yeah, coming back off on the too. ground is Samista. He limped off Sandy. But the action is with Ops. 70 metres out from goal. In towards full forward, but the height is there. Belongs to Sam. Off to Harvey. Dummies the hand pass. 
then gets a kick up towards centre wing. There are three demons. Well, he knew that. That's why he dummied the hand pass. There was no one to kick to the first time. No, he Harvey's hurt himself too. Oh, uh, Steins or Tingo, and he chose Steins. He's got it to love it. Well, let's hope he hasn't done any serious damage to his leg. He held that kick back, Harvey, and uh, eventually kicked across the other guy's body. Glenn Lovett it is with the football. Kicks it well inside 50 metres. High flyer there was Gary Lyon. Couldn't take the mark. Kick it back there for Eston. Wanganee goes for the boundary line. Oh, he's down. An umpire saw that as all clear. Harvey gets back to his feet. The uh, physio or the doctor there. He held this football way too late and eventually Ooh. kicking it across the body there of his Melbourne opponent. Eston tried to force the ball forward along that outer side. Simons just gets away from Stretch. Held when he didn't have it. Exactly right. It should have been a free kick because what he did was handball the ball away. And now and the free kick is going to Essendon. Go on, Don. Sorry. Yes, he uh, should have been paid for holding the man because he definitely got rid of the ball. Well, Buick with the football. Transfers play near the centre of the ground where Mercury, who's been very quiet, gets past his opponent which was Glenn Lovett, and kicks it inside 50 metres. Essendon need a mark. No, it's repelled by the Demon Defence, who have stood firmly. It's Gilbert kicking it out where Buick has taken the mark. Certainly the heat gone out of the game now. As far as uh, Essendon is concerned, Buick kicking towards centre-half forward. Marking contest, Somerville at the back, but Robbins is there. The smaller players across half-back and full-back have done extremely well, Melbourne. Kick towards centre half forward. No mark taken. Back there is Chris Danaher. Wanganeen, then Thompson. Thompson gets past. Short kick into the centre of the ground. Taken by Salmon. Hand pass for Masidi. Masidi goes long in towards full forward. Big punch. Excellent punch back there by Stephen Phoebe. Out wide for Tingay. Tingay trying to pat it in front of himself. Plain, then long. Now Bradley Plain has a chance. Can't get past though. Good tackle by Tingay. Good tackle by Kickett on Robbins. Ball spills free. Hopgood will clear. And it goes close to the boundary line where it goes over right on the player's interchange area in front of Peter Road. And the Melbourne fans down here in front of us are pretty excited. They sense victory with only four minutes left. Yes, the lead is 22 points. Salmon on centre wing. Hasn't got a lot. Centres it. Lights making it difficult for Buick. Could have been taken high. Now Lovett. Melbourne away. Across the centre he goes. Towards Jakovic, who's 55 out from goal. Fletcher right on his hammer. Jakovic has Lyon there if he wants him. Pulls it even further for Lovett. Runs into Wanganeen. Bang! Out he goes. Could still result in a goal. Yes! Well, love it on his feet. He certainly did run into Wanganeen. It was a collision. And the Melbourne guys going across and recognising the effort of Lovett. He's done very, very well today, Glenn Lovett. As in a change, Cowell off. Coming back on his Yates. He kicked the goal, Cowell. And here's the collision. The ball in no man's land. Darren Carl kicks the goal and then leaves the playing arena straight off the interchange bench. It's another one, though, to the Demons. And Neitz gets the hand pass away. Phoebe towards the half forward flank, towards Grinter. Rod Grinter enjoying it up there on that half forward line. Kicks in towards the pocket and sliding over the boundary line is David Grenville. Is that a try? Well, they need more than that, don't they? After five successive wins, the bubble has burst for the Young Bombers. Whereas Melbourne continue to resurface after looking down and out for the count. Well, you'd wonder what happened to them three or four weeks ago when they were just disgraceful against uh, Carlton. And they were beaten by 17-26 to 11-8. Not by 54 points, but by six goals, 18. Well, they've come back very strongly. And Played superbly against Collingwood. Credit to them. 
Here they go again. Love it off to Grinnick and go over the top once more. No, they say go in towards full forward. Perhaps he should have had a shot. Instead, he tried to pass to Sinister. But oh. it doesn't matter because they're still going to get another one. That's out of our dilemma. That's the story of Essendon's day. Melbourne have just been on them all day. Grinder will take it. Well, Djokovic kicked one from here earlier. Can Rod Grinder repeat the feat? Gee, that was a good kick by Alan Djokovic, well, though, to, to goal from here. That was a boomer. This will be his tenth kick. It's Jacko. Oh, I think he has. Oh, what a kick. What a kick! Let's rub some salt into the wound, they say. And that's what they're doing. 15-15 to 10-11. It's a beautiful kick from Rod Grinder. The angle, a problem, but not for him. Well, well done there by Rodney Grinder to kick his first goal. He's had 13 possessions. Jimmy Stein's doing the ruck work up against Salmon. Dennett going nowhere. That was a Ooh. terrific tackle, I thought, by Gary Lyon. And so did he think it was all right. Yeah. <laughs> Read the lips. Denham. Out wide for Thompson. Pardon? Carry on. The kick in towards the forward line for Esmond. It's punched away by that Melbourne defence. They have been quite fantastic all day. Glenn Lovett harassed by Watson. Watson eventually will get a kick. In towards the full forward region, but the mark is taken by Neats. So Melbourne quite patiently seeing the game out now. Wider for Stretch. Stretch will go in short. And the mark is taken there by Stephen Phoebe. Gee, he's had some touches. 32. Wanganeen must be paid the free kick if it wasn't a mark. Played a fair game for Essendon, Gavin Wanganeen. A tremendous spring, hasn't he? As I described him earlier, he's cat-like. Gavin Wanganeen. In towards half forward. It could be a free kick to Essendon. Maybe being interfered with as he was going for the mark there, Peter Somerville. And he'll take the free kick right on the 50-metre line. Well, seconds ticking away. It could be the last kick of the day, the way he's going. The siren may even sound when this ball is in the air. So Melbourne will win 15 15. They've kicked. And Essendon, a shocking kick. Well, did he mark it before the siren? No, I think it's all over. Salmon looking to take the kick, but uh, I feel the ball will be taken from him by the central umpire. It is. And Melbourne win the game. A terrific performance, particularly by that man there, Alan Jakovic. And they've won the game 15-15, 105 to Essendon, 10-11-71. And Alan Jakovic, Sandy, kicked eight goals, six. Fantastic achievement following up his nine against Collingwood. So Jakovic on fire at the moment. So team Melbourne under new coach Neil Barn. I think Alan Jakovic knows the words of the theme song there too. <laughs> Well, I'll be seeing it in Demon Land tonight. That oh, was a great performance, a terrific effort by uh, Melbourne. And I tell you what, the more that Neil Baum becomes accustomed to what's going on over here, I know he's a good coach, he's got a great record, but surely that's starting to happen for the Demons now on the ground. Different story for the Bombers, however, with Hurd injured, doing a hamstring. Bradley Plain on report. They've suffered their first defeat in six weeks that means nothing to the red and the blue and in a tight competition I'm sure you can't expect this to keep on winning oh, no, 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 not at all but it shows that Melbourne could well be a threat they could help shape the six final scoreline Melbourne 15-15 105 smile Barbie Essendon at 10-11-71